Aloha beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Athena Rose and I'm speaking to you from this beautiful forest in Northern Oregon near a lake where I'm spending the morning uh, in my meditation practice and my yoga practice. And um, yeah, the sun is starting to come out. It was a pretty chilly morning and um, I'm uh, really excited to share some downloads and some information that I've been receiving through uh, speaking to um, this idea and this concept around my life as a message. So this idea was presented to me through a project that I'm part of in another platform and um, speaking to what that means to me personally that my life is a message. and. Um, what was really coming through in my uh, reflection thus far, and maybe more will transpire here, is that um, uh, we're receiving messages all the time, right? We're, we're receiving input from our sensory experience through taste, smell, touch, uh, sight, feelings, um, everything that we're experiencing, like what I'm experiencing in the forest right now is a certain frequency, right? that these trees hold, that these plants hold. I can see spiders, there's spiders around, birds, crickets, frogs, whatever else may be present here. I'm receiving messages from them, even though they're not like directing a message at me per se necessarily. I'm in this frequency, I'm in this portal, I'm the environment around me is offering me a message. And our bodies are recording that, right? With our sensory experience, everything that we take in through that sensory experience and through, through all the different uh, physical plane, emotional plane, mental plane, spiritual plane, um, we're, we're picking up that information. Our bodies are instruments, the recording instruments. I'm recording my experience here through all of my senses, right? Through my, my psychic sense too, like picking up on what's happening. I can feel maybe movement around me or different activities happening around me, maybe uh, an energy nearby that I can feel a presence of that may be like a squirrel or another human being or something out in the distance, right? But our bodies are highly sensitively um, um, receptive uh, instruments, vessels. And some of us are more sensitive than others, right? I feel my whole life I've been this very, very highly sensitive individual that's picking up on all this information and I frequently get overwhelmed with how much information, sensory information is coming in because I haven't been trained or taught and I'm having to do that for myself actually in my life is to teach myself how to ground, how to filter out certain information that may not be important or to allow it not to not to allow it to affect me so much and how do I suss out and uh, uh, allow the important information to come into my field and then decode it and decipher it and digest it digest it so that is something I'm actively really really working on learning through my practice and uh, particularly through my meditation and my consciousness practice and my yoga practices um, and it's been extremely vital for me in my life as a human being as a highly sensitive person because I've gone through so much of my life picking up on so much information and then getting so overwhelmed in my nervous system and right now I'm I'm managing and I'm learning to cope with adrenal fatigue and and utilizing herbs and acupuncture and a bunch of different modalities uh, to help me regulate that situation that I've I've gotten into because I've spent a lifetime of not uh, being able to manage um, the overwhelm <laughs> that I've experienced and it's caused it's really causing me a lot of health issues right now and and thankfully I feel like I've, I've my body has sent me enough messages to where I've woken up to that fact and I'm actively addressing it now to where um, in the past I, I have not and I've, I've suppressed the pain and I've suppressed my body's messages and I've just pushed past and put myself over and over again in situations that were overwhelming where I was doing too much, I was taking on too much, I was trying to help and rescue too much and it caused me 
pain and suffering and, and could eventually cause disease and early premature death, I feel, if I don't take the time to really take care of myself right now. So I am taking that time, thankfully. I'm here in Oregon visiting my loved ones um, and I'm learning how to uh, do what I can and then take space and take breaks and not martyr myself as I've done in the past as a mother. Um, but really take that space to nourish myself and to rest and relax and rejuvenate. And for me, that means going out into the forest and receiving the medicine of the trees, receiving the medicine of, of water. There's a lake nearby. Uh, receiving the medicine of silence, of stillness, of just being held, being held in the moment, being held in the moment. Hmm. I'm excited to share this information that's been coming through because I feel it's so pivotal for us to understand the importance of our life as a message. It's not just a message for ourselves, right? We're receiving messages, we're incorporating them, we're integrating them, we're taking them in, we're maybe changing our behavior in relation to those messages. Certainly we're changing our perspective with the messages we receive, the lens through which we perceive life and, and, and react to life. But, uh, our, 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 <laughs> our body is this vessel that records these messages and incorporates them and remembers them, you know, and, and reacts to similar situations in the future based on the experience we had prior. And, um, I've been really paying attention to my dreams lately and um, I noticed that in my dreams I'm having these really profound experiences in, in a different body, in a different body. Uh, I can feel that I'm having the experience but I'm not the person that I am now in this life. And so what occurred to me and what I understand about that now is that my ancestors had experiences in the past that I have stored those memories have been passed down to me through their genetics through their dna through a, a process i believe it's the term is coined epigenetics to where i can experience and have those memories in my body and i can recall them and and they actually they actually influence the experience that i'm having now the the memories that my ancestors had affect me now in this life because they're stored in my body, because my body is a recording vessel. And I have this lineage of experiences behind me because those genetics have been passed down to me through my mother and father and through their mothers and fathers and, and so on and so forth. And so to consciously understand that means that our life is literally a message to future generations, to our ancestors, to our children, to our grandchildren. It doesn't just affect ourselves in this life or the people around us or who witness us or who we speak to or who we interact with. And then they say, oh, this person is so-and-so. I see the way they're living. That's a message to me, right? I mean, that's a very practical, easily seen meaning that can be gathered from that statement, my life is my message. But what I'm speaking to is a deeper layer of that to where our bodies are recording vessels and we're actually, the experience that we have in life is encoded into our genetics and that information is passed down to our ancestors and they use that information unconsciously many times, most of the time and experience their life partially through that lens of prior experience from their grandmothers and great grandmothers and verse, you know, so on and so forth. And so the importance of being conscious of that means that the messages that we can for eternity potentially send out into the collective are lived through our experience in this life now, now. Now we is the only point of power we have. Now is all there is, right? All these teachers are telling us this. Eckhart Tolle, Thich Nhat Hanh, Ram Das, 
all we have is now. Now is a point of power. What we experience now, the feelings we have now, the way we perceive life, the way we view life, the way we think about life, the behavior that we're exhibiting in this moment, in this present now, is our message. It's the message and the gift we can share with uh, our ancestors, with every other human being. We, we, don't, we don't have experiences outside of our connection with everything else and everyone else. We don't live in a vacuum. Even if you're in the middle of the forest and you're experiencing life and you're having thoughts, you think are you to yourself, they're not. They're going to affect everyone and everything. So to be consciously aware of that, to live life from that conscious awareness is enlightenment, I feel like. Because enlightenment means that we understand that everything we do, every way that we experience life affects everything else. It's a reciprocal relationship we have with life, with creation, all the time, every moment, every moment. It's this back and forth. Life is sending us messages, we're sending life messages. You know, other people are sending us messages, we're sending them messages. Even uh, most of the messages we send other people are not with our mouth. They, they are not. They are with our feeling, they are with our emotion, they are with our thoughts. They are with our body movement, our body language. Most communication is nonverbal. And what I'm saying here is that we need to remember this. We need to understand that the way you live your life the habits that you have, the thoughts that you think, the food that you put in your body, the way you move your body in space affects everyone and everything. You have so much power. You're such a powerful being. I'm such a powerful being. We need to remember this. We need to remember this. We have so much influence. We're all influencers. Everyone wants to be an influencer, right? They want to be on YouTube. They want to speak. They want to be heard. They want an audience. They want to make an impact. They want to make their unique impact on the world through utilizing social media, through utilizing video, through utilizing, um, you know, just different ways they may interact with the community, with their families, with their beloveds. But what I'm saying is that even if you're by yourself, even if you're not speaking to a camera, even if you're not putting yourself out there consciously through social media, your life is your message because it, it's a vibration that goes out into the collective. And then if you, if you end up having children and, and you pass that down to them through your genetics, that message continues to live through them. You know, we have such an impact. You have, I just, I want to reiterate this, like everything that you do, every way that you um, experience life, every moment that you're alive is, an, is a message. It's a message. It's a message and it's giving feedback to the universe. It's giving feedback to creation. It's so beautiful, this relationship, this relating that we have with creation, right? We're not separate from creation, but we are. We are, we aren't. It's both, right? It's this duality that's present all the time. And when we tune into the power that we have, we can have so much influence to change, to shift, to pivot um, what's going on in the world. Even if we're just sitting in isolation, these gurus that are sitting, these teachers, these masters, these ascended masters that are sitting in caves in the Himalayas and never interact with anyone, they're creating great change in the world through maintaining a certain vibration. And I'm so grateful for them for doing that work. And we need to all be conscious of this. We need to all do our part. We need to all sit with ourselves and take care of ourselves and manage our vibration, manage ourselves learn how to manage our emotions, learn how to, to operate these beautiful vessels that creation has given us, these beautiful instruments. We have no idea the potential power ultimately that we have if we don't bring this awareness to the forefront of our mind and keep it here and remind each other and remind ourselves of this fact, of this heavy truth, you know? 
that we have an impact all the time, each moment. Each moment is a gift. Each moment is sacred. Each moment is an opportunity to learn. Each moment is an opportunity to teach. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you know, you're teaching through your doing. You're teaching through your being. Just being is a teaching. Just being is a teaching. So just be, 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 but be conscious of the way that you're being because it affects everything and everyone. Do you know? Yeah. Just reminding you, just reminding you, you know, you have so much power and you can use it for good or you can use it for destruction. You can use it for building others up, for helping others, for supporting others, for bringing about peace and change and and harmony in the collective, or you can use it to bring about destruction and 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 harm and suffering. And we're we're starting to tip the scales. I feel like we really are because more and more of us are waking up, and we're spending more time out in nature. We're breaking free from unconscious habits. We're bringing more consciousness to our behavior. We're paying more attention to our bodies. We're paying more attention to our breath. We're paying more attention to our emotions, our state of being, our feelings, our thoughts, the food that we're eating. We're becoming more conscious. Each moment, we're all becoming more conscious. I have great hope and great faith in the evolution of humanity into conscious beings, fully conscious beings, living in harmony with the earth, living in harmony with each other, the end of destruction, the end of suffering, you know, coming out of those dark ages and coming into a golden age of enlightenment, of health, of wholeness, of, of immortality, potentially, you know, this is a great, great pivotal time in history. And I'm so excited that so many of us are waking up. So many of us are understanding what's happening and are, are talking about it and, and tuning into it and taking the space and making the hard choices. You know, I recently quit a nine to five job Monday through Friday because I knew it didn't serve. It was, it was not my life's purpose. My life's purpose is to be free and to be cyclical and to be spiral and to ebb and flow like the water and to listen to spirit and be guided in each moment. Not to be told what to do, to, ha to be here or there at any certain time, to do this or to do that. I have to listen to myself. I have to listen to my intuition. There is no other choice for me. I've tried that game, I've tried that, and it didn't serve, it didn't serve. It ultimately, it creates so much suffering and so much imbalance and so much disease and so much pain for myself because I know, I know that I can't be like that. I, I, so I'm utilizing, I'm utilizing these messages to share with others, you know, and my gifts are innate. My gifts are inherent and I want to share that with others and I want to share the messages that I receive and I feel it's such a gift social media YouTube Facebook all these places are such a gift so we can share these messages that we're receiving and we can encourage others and that is my life's mission is to help others understand their sacredness their holiness their their innocence their purity their gifts their power you know, and really celebrate that and help them go back within, you know, continue to nudge them to go within, to the teacher within, because each of us is our own greatest teacher. We have access to our higher selves. Our higher selves can see the totality of what's going on and understand that life is perfect and remind us of that and show us the way, the way back to the heart, the way back to our inner guru, the way back to source, the way back, the way back here back here internal and so my job my mission is to remind you of that that you have everything you need everything you need everything you need and you have so much power to create change for yourself and for others and I want to be on board um, with helping you if you need some help if you need some support if you need encouragement if you need advice um, I can help show you um, tips and tricks and give you advice that have helped me in order to help you. I want to help others 
really, really, really tap into their own inner guide, their own inner teacher, their own intuition and power and ability and innate gifts. And so thank you so much for tuning in, for listening. Thank you for remembering that all we have is now. Each moment is a gift. Life is sacred. To hold it is precious and to remember how much influence and power you have and to utilize and wield that power in a good way with good intent, with good intent, you know, and, um, and, and remember the light and focus on the light, the light, the light of creation, the light of the heart. Keep coming back to the heart. Keep coming back to love and hope. We don't need to give up. Life is precious. And enjoy each moment. Each moment is such a gift. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please feel free to reach out to me. My website is in the description, illuminatedhearthealingarts.com. And um, yeah, just really grateful. Really, really grateful for my life. Thank you so much for listening. And... Um, May you be blessed in every way. Aloha.